wasn't that long ago that the only way you even thought about cleaning up around the yard and garden was using one of these. Now it seems that just about everyone has a leaf blower and they love using them. Really, the problem isn't leaf blowers, it's more how they're used. Now I've got a few leaf blower tips for you that might just make using your blower a little bit easier and more efficient and might make you a better, quieter neighbour. Now before you start blowing, you'll want to do a couple of things. Uh, this way, that way. Work out the way you intend to blow so that you can try and concentrate all of your blowing towards one direction. So if you've got multiple pathways, make them all come towards one point. This will make it much easier to collect all of your material and it saves you wasting time by blowing back over the top of a clean area. If you're near the house, close the windows and doors. This will keep out some noise and any dust you might kick up. Walk through the area you plan to blow and pick up any larger things like twigs and branches and move big stuff out of the way. An important thing to remember is that blowers are not the proverbial blunt instrument. They are actually supposed to be a finishing tool for doing the fine work once you've finished all the other bulk stuff. Start your blower up and if it's a cold start just let it run on idle for about a minute or so before you go revving it up to maximum velocity. As you work over an area, don't move in a straight line. Use more of a semicircular or arc-like pattern. When you work like this, you're focusing the material towards one point. And remember, you don't need to be running your blower on full bore all the time. Back off on the throttle a little bit and just use little bursts of power. They can be really effective. As material builds up, don't try to push mounds of stuff along with the airstream. That's not what blowers are designed to do. If I keep trying to blow push this pile, I'll be running on full bore for five minutes. But if I grab the rake, it'll take me less than 30 seconds to get rid of the pile and get back to fast, efficient blowing. When you're working near walls, don't blow towards them. Blow along them. Otherwise you end up with all the muck back in your face. And likewise with windy days or windy locations. Blow across the wind or blow with it but don't try and blow into it, otherwise you'll end up with a mess all back in your face. Most blowers use petrol driven two or four stroke engines, but now that battery technology has improved, cordless electric models like this 40 volt are an excellent option. They're also much lighter and easier to handle. Because they have this fan horizontally mounted, it means that you don't get the gyroscopic action that you can sometimes get with petrol driven blowers that can leave them wobbling a little bit if you tilt them off on an angle. They're certainly quieter than petrol powered and you don't have the hassles of having to mix and store fuel and pull starting. Just juice up from the mains, click on the battery and they're blowing at the flick of a switch. So what to do with all the collected stuff? You can put it straight into the compost, but just make sure you balance brown material like this with an equal volume of green material like lawn clippings. I'm thinking my local leaf collecting brush turkey is somewhat envious of my leaf gathering capabilities. Many blower models also come with a vacuum kit. You can use this to suck the material up and then you can add that to the compost or put it straight onto garden beds as mulch. And one last set of tips, safety gear. Now blowers may not seem that loud, but it's the sustained noise that does the damage, not the one-off. So earmuffs, good quality ones, are an absolute must. I'd highly recommend some decent safety glasses. Personally, I like to wear gloves. They cut the vibration a little bit. Also very handy when you've got to pick stuff up off the ground. And of course, decent footwear goes without saying. So happy blowing and hopefully happy neighbours.